Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in once again to the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is your Sunday Vitamins. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Okay, please like and share. You all know how they do. Uh, so with that all been said, I saw a very disturbing video the other day, and I want you all to see it. Uh, so hold on. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in once again to the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is your Sunday Vitamins. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, please be sure to give this video a like and a share. Okay, you know how they do the Queen in these YouTube streets. Uh, with that all being said, I saw this video a few days ago, and it was very disturbing. OK, it was between a father and his daughter and they got into this huge altercation and a lot of it is inappropriate. So I did, you know, um, silence different parts of it. I didn't add the bleeps, but I did silence it. And I want you all to watch this video and tell me what you think about it. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think, because I thought it was absolutely deplorable that a father would treat his child this way. I don't know if he's experienced some trauma when he was growing up. I don't know if he's had trauma during his adult life. I don't know what his problem is. If he had some type of substance abuse, who knows? But at the end of the day, this was very sad. And this young lady is 17 years old. She's still in school. She's also been working, trying to make money for herself and all of that. And she depends on her father, not only to take care of her, but also to provide her with transportation to get to work. And so this whole thing, led to her having to move out of the house. So there's a part one and a part two. Uh, it's like a seven minute video, but in this seven minutes, you know, there's parts one and part two, but I want you all to just watch this. Okay, so without further ado, let me go ahead and roll the footage. Oh, so he's trying to get out my face. With your phone. You still think I'm stupid, don't you? You just think I'm dumb, don't you? And you got a phone. You're going to feel bad. Right. If you, if you, if you I know. It. But I so tried to, face I tried to so, warn you. So I tried to warn you. And you still don't give a f That's everybody's problem. I'm accepting it. No, you're not. I am. You'll be if you were. Because I will be accepting it. And I'll be Job. But I'm ready for it to happen. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Okay. No, you you think you are. You are. But you got a in my face, and you're my father. You, right. I feel like this my last breath. So I'm gonna speak how I feel you before I leave. Shit. I feel, man, I'm stupid. Bro, I'm finna go, bro. You I'm not even gonna exactly, lie. Exactly. Can I please? Exactly. And That's I still what wanna want. go to work. That's what and you I still want. wanna. You went to my job and told to me young, I couldn't work no it's more. Not, you're 18 now. No, I'm not. I'm still you're, 17. You got two months. But you can still take my job. Legally. And I'm going to. That's fine. We both going to be. You got two months. We live in this house You got together. two months. We both going to be. you stupid. <laughs> I can stand. You the stupid motherfucker. You think I'm a. I'm a whole. You think I ain't your daddy? You think, you think I ain't crazy? Bitch. That's your problem. I'm like, I gotta go I and you. I ain't going to work. Cause you, you to, hate I'm me. Still leaving. Right. I hate you. Go now. So I hate you. Go now. So No bitch. That's your stupid ass excuse. No. And you no. wish I, I wish I could. I like wish I could, I mean, and that's the help. problem. You, you came, and he ain't. Jaleel. And should I let you go? Jaleel. And I'm going to let you go. Bad. I swear to God, bro. Bad. Bad. <laughs> so none of y'all are these niggas. Ass excuse. No! And you wish I wish I could. 
be I wish I could. I be there and that's the problem. You can you can't. And he ain't. Jaleel. Until I let you go. Jaleel. And I'm going to let you go. Bad. I swear to God, bro. Bad. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> so none of y'all in this house and none of y'all me. That's cool. Bro, you bro, bro, bro. You would never get me back, Dad. I swear. You will never give me f back, bro. Look what you did to me, though. Because I'm trying to tell you about your ways and how you treat us. I can't tell you. And I'm supposed to think that you're the only one here to protect me. And I got a knife to... <laughs> I, I love myself. And I love you, too. That's what you taught me. You you taught me to grow up and love myself and love my parents too. And that's what I've been doing. And I try. But you got to understand, you got your own generational trauma that I had nothing to do with. It. But when, once you hear it, you don't block out so many memories in your life. Once you hear it. So stop trying to be good before you die because it's not going to happen. You doing other shit. You being good for yourself. I just wanted you to understand me. I never wanted to over... You don't. You don't because if you did, you would have never did it. You don't think I know what talking about? If you did, all of this would have never happened on my soul. That's what you say, then. It's about kissing your ass. Look at my and brand new hairstyle. got everything under control. That I just got done. All of this, don't, it don't matter. And if it don't matter, it won't matter. And it's all going to be destroyed. So it's okay. let it go. I love you. I, I accept that, but that ain't all on me. I love you. It'll always but be that. Yeah, it, it, I, never I, I, I it never changed. It never changed. So quick update, I know a lot of y'all seen the video and a lot of y'all have been concerned, wondering, am I okay? I'm currently am at my sister house. Yes, that's her in the comments. Her TikTok is your big homie Re. Um, I am safe. I will say I'm not okay though. This is something I'll never be able to be okay with. Um I just want to make sure I clear up everything. I know a lot of y'all was saying that, oh, yeah, I should have just been left and stuff like that. But it's not always that easy. I'm 17 years old, and I've been depending on him my whole life. He the one that take me to work, take me to doctor's appointments and all that other stuff. So it's hard when you trying to build a life for yourself on your own, depending on yourself. So I just want y'all to understand where I'm coming from. At the end of the day, I lived it. So I am looking for a change. I'm taking a step to see what I'm going to do next in life for myself to make sure that I'm successful. Um, I'm still in school. I'm still working. I haven't went in yet, so I'm not even sure if I'm still going to have a job. I feel like this is a chance for me to like start over and like make better decisions and just start my... Um, my adulthood, you know, I am finna be 18 in a few months. That's hard. That's when you really trying to figure out what you want to do in life. So, um, yeah, I am starting over. Um, I have to find some type of way to take care of myself. I still need stuff. I still, if I do have a job, I need a way back and forth to, to the job, to school, to doctor's appointment, just little stuff that I need to do. So, um, a lot of y'all was asking, what can y'all do to help, um, asking for the cash app and stuff like that. I really don't have an account right now. I could make one, um, a couple people in my DMs mentioned a, a GoFundMe. Anything is accepted. Anything y'all can do to help. And I'm not really y'all here asking for nothing or... We accept resources for teens 
and young adults yeah so that's that's basically it um i won't be on here posting as much as i was because that's just me trying to be right with myself and get myself together but i will update y'all and let y'all know what's going on and i thank everybody for being concerned Okay, so that was absolutely very hard to watch. Very sad, and you can tell that it's clearly dysfunctional, and this isn't a one-time thing. This is likely something that has been ongoing. And it's just, you know, very heartbreaking to watch. And this is, like I said, a 17-year-old child, okay? But at the end of the day, the good thing is that she was able to leave and had somewhere else to go and stay. Can you imagine a teenagers who go through these same types of things or even younger children who go through these things and they have no one else to turn to, nowhere else to go. They have to stay in the, the same house as their abuser. This is absolutely deplorable. And at the end of the day, charges should be pressed on him. You know, she was talking about her hair being messed up and him breaking her necklace and stuff, but she should have been on that phone calling 911 because what he did was absolutely a crime. And it was far more than terroristic threatening, okay? He was physically assaulting her, and with a weapon, no less. And so with that all being said, you know, prayers for the young lady. I hope that she stays safe and stays with her sister, and hopefully she'll still have her job um, if he hasn't caused her to, to lose it, because she said something about him uh, telling them that she wouldn't be able to work anymore or something like that. Uh, but anyway, with that all been said, everyone, please drop a comment and let me know what you think about this. And so until next time, beloveds, enjoy the rest of this day. And I will talk to you all again soon. Peace.